Five Minute Berenstain Bear Stories by Jan Stan and Mike Berenstain. Hug and make up. The Bear family got along nicely most of the time, but even families who love each other very much don't get along all the time. It didn't happen very often, but there are days when the whole family got up on the wrong side of the bed. When it happened, though, it made for a bad day in the treehouse. It could start with brother and sister taking too long in the bathroom on a busy school morning. It could start with somebody leaving the cap off the toothpaste too. It could start with somebody accidentally stubbing a toe. Yes, even Mama sometimes started off on the wrong foot. It didn't, <clears throat> it didn't help him. Baby Honey decided to join it and start crying at the top of her lungs. <sighs> Things got even worse at breakfast. Manners were forgotten. Nobody said, please pass the jam or may I have the honey. The bears just reached and grabbed. Their dog, Little Lady, got a little worried and hid under the stairs. Goldie the goldfish hid in her underwater castle. Brother finished first and shouted at sister who was having second helping cereal. Come on, you slowpoke, or you'll make us late for the school bus. Who are you calling slowpoke, you dumbhead? Sister shouted back. You are the one who made us late yesterday when you forgot to mom will sign your test paper. That'll be quite enough shouting and name calling. Or Papa banging the table so hard the whole treehouse shook. And quite enough table banging, said Mama. You're the worst than the cubs. Grr, said Papa, jamming his hat on his head and storming out the door. Brother and sister usually sat next to each other on the school bus, but this morning they came onto the bus looking like storm clouds. I've saved your seats for you, said their friend Lizzie Bruin. I wouldn't sit next to him if it were the la if he were the last bear on earth, said sister. That goes double for me. So their brother stomping to the rear of the bus. And all through recess and lunch break they refused to have anything to do with each other. As soon as they got home from school, the shout out arguing started all over again. They agreed about where to have their they argued about where to have their after school milk and cookies. The kitchen table or in front of the television. They argued about which video to watch, the Bear Stooges or the Bear Bee Show. Soon they were rolling around on the floor fighting over the remote. I've had quite enough of this fussing and feuding. There will be no television today, said Mama. She not only took away the remote, but she pulled the plug on the television. Just sit yourselves down and do your homework. I don't want to hear another peep out of either of you. Brother and sister sat at the dining room table and tried to do their homework, but they were too busy looking daggers at each other as they couldn't at each other that they couldn't concentrate. By the time Papa came in from his shop, the bear's bad day had become a full-fledged family feud. Little Lady was still hiding under the stairs, and Goldie was still hiding in her castle. Angry silence filled the air. Grim Frey's brother was trying to reach the next level on one of his video games, but he kept falling short. Tight lips, sister was coloring in a coloring book, but she wasn't staying in the lines very well. Angry Mama was trying to read a magazine, so Papa sat down, glaring and pretending to read the newspaper. But it's hard for folks who love each other to stay angry all day, especially if they don't really have anything to be angry about. Mama, sister said. Yes, said Mama. That magazine you're reading, said sister, starting to giggle. You've got it upside down. Why, so I do, said Mama, with a small giggle of her own. Now it happens that giggling is as contagious as a 24-hour virus. More quickly than it takes to tell, the whole bear family was laughing uproariously. Except for Baby Honey, who, until that moment, was having a long nap. They were laughing so hard their sides hurt. They laughed so hard tears rolled down their cheeks. And what were they laughing at? They were laughing at themselves for wasting a whole day being angry about nothing. Little Lady came out from under the stairs. Goldie came out from under her, out of her underwater castle. And Honey Bear saw her once angry family dry their tears and hug and make up. And that is the end of Hug and Make Up from the bear, the Five Minute Berenstain Bear Stories by Jan Stan Mike Berenstain. I think we only have like one or two stories left. I think one. So 
I will see you guys for that one. Subscribe if you want to be notified when that comes out. And hit the notification bell so that you will get notified. And thank you all for listening, and I'll see you for the next story.